Our next comedian says, oh, guys, why so serious? <laughs> Welcome to Joker. Bring it up for Mr. Michael Darren. Yeah. I'm feeling paranoid. <laughs> They'd say laughter is the best medicine, but I need to take mine. <laughs> I'm hearing voices. <laughs> Gosh, I'm feeling much better. <laughs> that dosage is really kicking in. Yeah, I was put in a mental institution for going ballistic on my dad. <laughs> Met a lot of crazy people in there. What crazier people? <laughs> it was quite an experience. I met one guy in there who uh, said he was hearing voices. I said, so am I. <laughs> what are your voices saying to you? He said, well, you're telling me to eat, brush my teeth, take a shower. I said, that's your conscience, idiot. <laughs> Another guy that said he hadn't taken a shit in 25 days. <laughs> I smelled things, yes he has. Just not in the toilet. I can smell from 25 miles away. <laughs> I can smell him in the whole cop right there. Are there any cops here who are me? Raise your hands. There was another guy that I met in there who uh, told me that I was Romeo and he was Juliet. I don't think it was as romantic as that. I met another guy in there who said that he was a runner on his track team in high school. He was 50 years old. I met another guy in there who uh, would walk around with one eye shut like this and uh, said that he was in the Beatles. He uh, wasn't even British. I don't know how his music can motivate the world with him standing like this with one eye shut. It was pretty scary. I, uh, I, uh, I met another guy in there who was sitting on his bed, rocking himself back and forth like he was on a cradle. He told me that he was living in another dimension. I said, dude, you're living in another delusion. <laughs> I met a friend in there. <laughs> who was homeless. And dropped out of high school. He was on drugs. Prenatally. <laughs> His mom was a prostitute. <laughs> I, uh, he would follow me around with this hockey mask on, and he would always tell me to be quiet. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> I, uh, I told him to take his hockey mask off, but he said no, his name was Jason. <laughs> I met this other guy in there who would say, Red rum, red rum. I thought he had an obsession with rum until I heard him say it backwards. Murder. I stayed away from that guy. But the best thing about the hospital was I met this really hot girl in there. I was crazy for her. 
question is crazier for me. I got four more days added on for that. This girl had multi-personality disorder. We became friends on MySpace. She's all my top 25 friends. I had sex with 25 girls. Same vagina. On the ride home from the hospital, it was really weird because my dad was the one that picked me up and he was the one that put me in there. <laughs> On the car ride home, my dad would, uh, I, well, what I said to him was, Well, Gary, how were your last seven days? I had a lot of time to think about you these last seven days. <laughs> Walking around these halls these last seven days. Nothing much to do. I've got my pills though. I won't miss one. Or will I? Michael's uh, Michael is available for children's parties. <laughs>